roll. I gotta get. I got it. This is the story of a sailboat named Sylvia and the ragtag crew that call her home. Join us each week as we explore the planet both above and below the surface and see what it's really like to live a life at sea. This is Expedition Drenched. Oh my god, look at that, so beautiful. Good morning, 6 a.m. I'm a little bit tired because as I told you yesterday, just working like I was working like for 15 hours and and we just went to sleep and now wake up again and hardcore day again. But I'm um, I'm excited, nervous, happy. Uh, I feel challenged and I hope we meet a lot of people today and we get to explain how amazing it's been Queensland diving and also to explain our lifestyle and what we do and why we do what we do. So yeah, I'm emotional and excited and butterflies in my stomach and it's super early but um, I'm going for it. I think everybody is. So slowly, slowly we will start waking up um, everybody have tea, coffee, something to eat, and get ready. We'll let you know everything about it. So, let's go. Try to remember that the bad times never last. And if we take one step, one step at a time, we gotta make it. The Sanctuary Cove International Boat Show seemed to be the perfect opportunity to meet in person some of the company partners that we work with, as well as anyone in the area that watches our weekly videos. We used to invite patrons on board for sales and would have get-togethers whenever possible. But due to COVID, this has been an impossibility. Ooh. All right, we're gonna play our videos right here on our screen. Got our things set up, all these things talking about. We got raffles going on. We got so much going on. So, bum, 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 bum. I don't know, it's beer 30. Let's get out of here. Good job, guys. So we jumped when Sanctuary Cove offered us a booth and an opportunity to speak on the main stage talking about our love for scuba diving. It is going so well. There are so many people here, it's crazy. And most of them don't know me yet, so that's fun. And everyone always comes over like, oh, waiting, waiting to talk to Nate and Nere and I talk, which is cool. And now they're about to go do a big speech on the main stage. And we've been doing those every day. And there's more people than I would have expected that are coming to this and so it's really cool for them so they're gonna go now and talk about diving in conservation and all things aquatic you're gonna love expedition drenched uh, I've got captain Nate on stage um, well guys hey my name is captain Nate from SB Sylvia and expedition drenched uh, we are a uh, marine educational nonprofit so you guys just learned about how to get the fish out of the ocean. Our job is to keep them in the ocean. And what we do is we actually film them up close and personal. We invade their homes and just, just take photos. So Mossy is not on your Christmas card list. No. <laughs> That's right. No, we don't catch fish on our vessel. Uh, we just go down there and we take photos of them. So um, what we do is we are a crew of 12 international people. Um, I'm from Hawaii in the States. Uh, these beautiful couple right here are from the best country of Spain. And then we've got Kiwis and Australians and everything else in between on our boat. Every single episode has some sort of marine conservation mindset to it. You're going to learn about what's below the boat. And uh, we're quite passionate about it. As you mentioned, I'm a, yeah, I'm a scuba diver. Been doing it since I was young. And Every single dive I go down there, I get more stoked on, on what's beneath us. This is my crew. Uh, Aitor and Nerea have been uh, with us for two years now. And uh, yeah, they're a big part of what we do. And uh, let's start off with Aitor, Nerea. Yeah? yeah, for sure. And it's Aitor, bro. I gotta get Aitor. Aitor. Do it again. Yeah, Aitor. Hey, ladies. You wanna hear him do it one more time? Aitor. <laughs> so what do you do? What is your job part of the crew? I started in the beginning, uh, I was part of the maintenance team. We are constantly fixing problems and especially when you are in the open ocean, we, you have to be also a little bit creative to fix uh, little problems that we have always. And then uh, little by little, step by step, I started also filming underwater, filming uh, macro camera. It's, it means that I film very small things like uh, one millimeter, one centimeter size and uh, 
And combining with a wide angle camera is what we can uh, make such a beautiful footage of underwater, yeah. How do you pronounce your name? Nerea. This sounds so much better when she says it. What, why do you do what you do? So we are basically our journey is focused on capturing the beauty and the connection we feel with the oceans. At the end, our goal is to tell the stories of the fish, of the reef, of the people and the countries we visit. So we put that in the filming and then our goal will be that our followers fall in love with the ocean as much as we do. So then they feel the same passion and conviction to protect it as we do. And is every day that gorgeous in the ocean? Under Every day. Every dive is worth it. There yeah. is no dive that is not worth it. Hey, folks, could you please put your hands together? Round of applause. Expedition Drenched. Uh, thank you guys for listening, and uh, we'll see you guys back over there. Hey, everybody. We haven't filmed a lot, but we are in the boat show. We are in our beloved stand. Uh, everybody did such a good job of uh, decorating everything. It looks great. Here's our team talking to people, scrolling over. Then he's here. Time for raffle. Time for prizes. And some of our sponsors were so nice to give us some stuff to give away. Uh, we got People for Ocean, uh, Reef Safe Sunscreen to give away. We got some French sunglasses. So eh, it's always fun to get free stuff. That's what these things are about, right? Getting free stuff. I want to thank our partners at Highfield, Cressy, Sharkskin, People for Ocean, and Nemo Power Tools for supplying us with prizes and helping us organize this event. And we're going to pick a special name or two or three, and they're going to win some stuff. Yeah, let's go for it. Okay, two, four people. Four. Four. Wayne, Wayne Fraser. He's another winner. Winner, winner. What did, what did he get? What did he get? Uh, people for, uh, for ocean sink sunscreen. So when you are doing your sports, some expedition drenched sunglasses. Oh, you're gonna look Wayne. good in there, bro. Got some swag here. Yeah, and yeah. Sun, sun skin rush guard. Ooh, oh, that's a quick drying one. Awesome. We care about your skin. Thank you so much. This there is awesome. You go. Yeah. There you go. What a great day. Awesome. Congrats, dude. <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. What do you think about the exploiter? Pretty interesting. Pretty fun. Again? It was pretty fun. Yeah, everybody is very curious about it. And they come here to ask what it is because it's true that this is a very different stand compared to the other ones because everybody is selling a product. We, what we are selling is just the real adventure. And uh, yeah, people... How many people ask us if we had a charter boat? Yeah, yeah. people ask, hey, how, can I, how can I book here for a charter <laughs> or for expedition? You know, no, no, we are not doing that. You know, we're just uh, offering videos. <laughs> we were pleasantly surprised to have met so many people that we have talked to through YouTube comments and messages over the years. It was great to put a face with the online alias. But I must admit, a little bit of an in-person affirmation that people are inspired by what we do and we've made people want to try diving really reinvigorated us. Thank you. Yeah. That's a pleasure. Thank you so much. Oh, good, Mark. Enjoy. Thank you. What do you got here? The smallest sunglasses in the world. Show us. Show us what happens. Oi, look at that. Straight in the pocket. Yes. Like I struck a gold mine with your head in mine. Our love came alive. We've still got the rest of our lives. The rest of our lives. The rest of our lives. Oh, the rest. Of Thank you very much for such a remarkable experience. I never like these days. These are the sad days. It's with all these bags. I mean, somebody's packing up and somebody's leaving. Too often this happens. Too often. It's me. Yeah? What are you doing, dude? What's your yeah, plan? I'm heading out. I'm heading to Panama. I have 90% um, bought a boat. Um, so, yeah, I'm pretty stoked, pretty excited. Um, yeah, it's about the same size as Sylvia. Same style, everything. Yeah, it's more of an expedition style. So, nice. big, big boat. Um, yeah. yeah. Making the making the jump, the plunge. I am. I am. I'm taking a risk. Yeah. Taking, always... taking what I learned here and yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to do it for myself. Yeah. It's always exciting, man. I I think that's the the hope of the dream for. 
for everybody that gets on a boat. Yeah. Yeah, it certainly was mine, and people inspired me to do the same. So excited to see you on your journey. And by the time this comes out, you'll probably have in some social media, and we'll put it up right here so you can link it and all that. And follow Tom along. And um, I hope to see you out there in the blue one day. I hope we I'm can sure buddy boat at some, exactly. at some stage, exactly. man. Exactly. So it might be a, a while, you're on the opposite side of the ocean, but uh, yeah, we'll meet up, brother. We'll meet up. Yeah, I'm sure of it. It's cool, man. All right. Let's back up. Let's go. After nine months, it was time to say see you later to Tom. After being with us for so long, he's got dreams and aspirations of owning his own boat. Hello from Costa Rica. Okay, where do I start? As you may know, I came here to buy a boat to Panama, and uh, that didn't work out. That came to a dramatic end when the guy bought the boat the guy I was gonna buy the boat off ended up being um, a little bit crazy and he ended up calling the police on me accusing me of being a drug dealer <laughs> so that was on my second day being in Panama so yeah it was a little bit of a shock getting uh, taken away by the police but uh, anyway a bunch of positives have come from that I have I then joined Parley Revival and actually I just left Parley um, just a couple of days ago and so I'm in San Jose at the moment in, um, in Costa Rica um, figuring out my next move so but definitely my next move is going to be to do with boating um, yeah I've got an opportunity in the San Blas Islands to work on a boat there doing charters or um, to be to work with David She uh, David She sails he has a YouTube channel as well um, so yeah a bunch of bunch of options but um, yeah, I, I, I definitely wouldn't be where I am now making these sort of decisions if it wasn't for um, Nate and Expedition Drenched and Itor and Naraya. It changed my life, that experience. It changed the way I thought about my future. Um, it gave me a new passion for sailing, for the ocean, for scuba diving. Um, so yeah, I, I, I owe it all to, to them where I am now. No, I will actually also say, no, I'll leave it there. That you love us and you miss us, Tom? We miss you too. Yeah, much love. Tom has brought a lot of laughs, some incredibly helping hands to fix Sylvia, as well as good vibes with his musical talents. He will be severely missed. I hope to see him out in the blue again one day, and hopefully we can buddy boat together. The rare and elusive New Zealander Tom will prepare a cocoon to rust his slumber during the day. And then he will emerge a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> and tour, what are you up to? Hey. Yeah, right now, what we are doing is reinforcing the windows. Leave it just for now, what we're gonna do is replace that one that is that like six millimeters thick and we're gonna put a 12 millimeter thick, so it's gonna be double. And, uh, why, why are we doing that? It's because, uh, you know, South Australia, the conditions are pretty hard, the, the waves, they can suck out yeah. the windows, the th a weak window, yeah. and that we wanna avoid that to happen. So that's, for now we are gonna do that, probably later we are gonna do proper work, yeah. like double glass and uh, with a frame, but for now it's gonna be the best because we are in a hurry, so. <laughs> Yeah. In a hurry, that's always good, huh? Yeah. <laughs> we, um, so yeah, we're gonna be just knocking these out right here. These are our storm shutter things that we put out. So if a window was to get cracked out, you throw these up into the window and then there's a line that you twist to make it tight to, to the boat. So we have those and we've always had those just in case a window was to get knocked out. So what we're doing is we're taking six windows a day to get replaced from six mil to 12 mil, making them super thick. Um, just kind of a pre-planning uh, because eventually we're going to be going to the Bass Strait, Antarctica, some pretty wicked stuff. So this is our current plexi and as you can see it is uh, 6 mil. So we're going to really just double that up. And just one of our many projects, we just cleaned the hole. Uh, we're getting ready to get hauled out of the water uh, here in a couple days. And we have a short list, but it's important. It's going to be done. So, 
took out all the windows now. So all the windows and all of Sylvia have been popped out now. So we've placed all the windows in to make sure that they all fit. And it kind of has like that when you build a fort when you're a kid kind of feel to it. So far, so good. Ooh, got some dolphin friends right here. They got the whole place to themselves because it's still COVID times. Awesome. But uh, yeah, man, the glue that was used on these front windows is about 20 times worse than the other glue. Like, uh, just to give you an example, I told was able to scrape off like a whole thing, just like this. And uh, up here, we're just doing it in these little pieces and it's just becoming a nightmare, so. What are we doing, guys? Oh my God. How's that going? <laughs> I really hate these, you know. It's not easy. <laughs> Just sticky. But yeah, it's sticky. And then once it's, it doesn't look amazing now, but once when it's dry, we can cut and remove from places. That, you know, to make it be more beautiful. Old window right here. New window right there. Twice as thick. Yes. Looks so good. Who likes boat jobs? I like boat jobs, and that's why I'm gonna go do some boat jobs with you. Uh, we have to haul out, guys. We need to haul out for our second time this year, unfortunately, because there's a couple of repairs that we need to do that we can't do on the water. So we're just cruising up this river. I got like houses behind me and uh, we're going just around this corner to a place called the Boat Works. This is like where all the big mega yachts get hauled out, so it's pretty fancy. So I thought I'd put on this shirt so I could uh, look the part. Anyway, we got some jobs. It just sucks, to be honest with you. We put on what's called clear coat, and clear coat is it's pretty much like a thin plastic that gets sprayed onto your boat, and it's supposed to stick to it, but we have really slippery Navy-style paint, and uh, it doesn't stick to it. And so we're pretty much shedding plastic into the ocean. We decided it can't be done. Um, secondly, we our head just barely got stuck open. We don't know why, but our, our valve has seized. And um, what that means, guys, is our toilet is stuck open. And for those of you that don't know boats, uh, boats have what's called a holding tank, and that holds your poop. And then when you go far off seas, out to sea, you uh, open that up and it's like, it's like one big giant whale poop, I guess. So, uh, all organic, all of that good stuff. But you like, you know, you don't do it like on the beach. You don't do it here in this river where people live. You do it uh, many miles out to sea. I think at least three miles out, in fact. And so we can't close it at the moment, which is highly illegal. So we knew we already had the one issue. So we booked this to race up here to get hauled out to get both those issues fixed. So let's film it. Let's go have fun. Let's get to work. Join us next week as we get immersed in an infinite boat project with some new extra help. Yeah, you got it right. On. Molly and Phil are back. Pick up the mom. What are you eating, Tom? No, I'm eating a mandarin. Oh, it looks like a good, juicy mandarin. Is it vegan? <laughs> no, I don't like it. Good. Okay, stop guys. Stop kids. <laughs> My web fingered glove. <laughs> Do you use your arms when you dive? Always. Yeah. Every nice. good diver does. Good, good, good. Swim like this. <laughs> He's warming up those fingers. It's gonna be cozy.